I'm going to be completely transparent. I'm giving this talk for selfish reasons. When I first heard about TEDx Phillips Exeter Academy, I realized that it was a chance for me to share something that's been on my chest for a long time. When I was in the first grade, I told my mother that I wanted to be the first female president of the United States. Me too. I'm sure many of you <laughs> wanted to do the same. Yet in the first grade, I had no idea what a president did or what it meant to be president. In fact, I thought president meant you would rule the world. <laughs> and when I told my mother this, she asked me, so why do you want to be president? And I said, I have no idea. I had no idea what I would do as president. I simply wanted it for the title. We are placed into boxes, and we place ourselves into boxes every single day. A box is a label, something that you tape yourself into. So let's try one on for size that many of us will feel uncomfortable with. Republican. I know many of you have strong feelings about this word. But me, growing up in Texas, I hadn't heard it for the first six years of my life. And that's because many of us had no need to label our beliefs. But as I grew older, beliefs deviated. And I had to pick a word to describe myself. Republicans seemed like a pretty good fit. But four or five years later, I'm looking back and I see that word, and there are a lot of things I don't agree with. And yet I'm forced to conform to the definition that a lot of you believe in. Words are powerful. And we treat them that way. And as words change over a generation, we have to be aware that our beliefs don't change, but the personal experiences of others cause the definition to change. It can be comforting to align yourself with a group of people. And often it's very helpful. But what if instead we aligned ourselves with a group of people to get things done? A few weeks ago, my mother told me a story of a woman named Hillary Nelson, who's a world-renowned climber. And in this interview, the interviewer asked her, how does it feel to be the first female? She cut him off. She said, why does that make me any different? Why does that inhibit my accomplishments to a subcategory? When you call yourself something, when you tape yourself into a box, you put others' definitions onto yourself. And that limits who you can really be. For those of you who know me, I am active, not in the athletic sense at all. <laughs> but I'm an artist, I'm a musician, I'm a linguist, I'm a writer. But the questions that pop up in your head when I say that could mean, how many instruments do they play? Are they any good then? What counts as playing an instrument? What kind of mediums do they use? Am I better at them in art? How many languages do they speak? What's their GPA? <laughs> but instead of thinking about that, what if I rephrase it? And I say, I am passionate about music. I am passionate about art. I am passionate about language. The questions fade away. Because we have trust in passion. Because passion means vision. Let's imagine for a second that we take away the boxes. We recycle the cardboard. And instead of focusing on who we are, let's focus on what we do. Because words will inevitably change. My father grew up in a small town in Arkansas on a farm. Throughout his life, he's devoted himself to working hard. And now that he's in a position where he can give back, he does. But he's never told me this. He simply doesn't. That's how I hope to act. So when you look back on your life, and you see the labels you put upon yourself and others put upon yourself, remember that it is, an, it is inevitable that humans will always stereotype. So instead of focusing on who we are and the definitions that constrain us, let's focus on what we do. And this isn't to say labels aren't useful. They are and have been. For example, the women's movement. Women, a group of people with a common identity, got together and got something done. But now, we focus more on the label than the action. We're plateauing, because we're focused on who said what and why. 
So let's get together a group of people who previously called themselves X, Y, and Z and A, B, and C and put them together through initiative, through visions. Let's get together a group of people who can get something done to move in a common direction. Because in this generation, labels aren't working. America is a mesh of many, many people. And soon enough, they will become irrelevant. So you might as well start practicing. Who are you? But more importantly, what do you do? Thank you.